What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the my next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So to round off where we left off, we have another Russian blockade of our port, but they have a lovely juicy second rate, which I would love to capture. So without further ado, let us fight. So my army is currently very, very small, so we need to we are going to take a lot of damage in order to capture their ships. And it also does highlight that we need to need to upgrade our own shipbuilding. So let's lead with all our fourth rates up front. The galleons behind them, my admiral behind them, and my sixth rate following. So probably going to want to position our ships like probably not going to be able to do it because our fleet is quite long, like that. So we have no ships that can go toe to toe with that second rate for an extended time, but we do have a significant amount of ships in order that, that are able to surround and engulf their engulf this second rate and surround it. Although the AI doesn't quite know what they're going to do. They're sending their fourth rate ahead of the line. I think this is just some fleet rearrangement screw up. Like they're trying to reorganize their fleet to be in a certain order, and it's taking a bit of time because they're having to sail against the wind and so on. There we go. So they go towards the back of our line, which makes sense to them. Because that is where our weaker ships are, but there's not really a lot we can do about that. So right now just from the tides they're kind of wiggling about and not getting in the best position. Okay what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to cut the recording and then bring you guys back when battle is joined. So see you in a moment. Okay guys I had a really stupid recording error which meant that I didn't which meant that my battle was all audio no video or at least the remainder of it was. Um, but you can see we did manage to capture um, well, we captured two of their ships, and neither of them was the ship we wanted. So I guess their second, well, their second rate, uh, we didn't actually sink. We didn't actually sink it. She was surrendered, and she was on fire. But maybe while I was chasing down um, this last heavy frigate, maybe she sank. I don't know. But sadly, we did not capture her. Let's add the fourth to our fleet, and let's take the heavy frigate. And take that in for cash. Nope, you... No, I remember this. You guys go back out. You go over to Anaba. Oh, actually, I think that means the Bellerophon go over to Anaba. And our fourth rate can go over to Safaki. And then let's replenish. So do you have a Prussian navy there? But we're at peace with Prussia, and that's fine. But we're at war with Spain. But I've got some ships raiding Spanish trade. Okay, let's hop over to the Americas. So we took Cuba. Ah, yes, we got invaded by the French, but I went after Caracas instead. Because that way we do get access to recruitment of line, artillery, and all of... Lots of good stuff. In terms of research... Eh. Reform naval administration is fine. So right now in Europe, we are fighting against the Spanish. So my army is back here. So where do I want to send you? Firstly, I'd like more artillery for this army and then I think I'm probably going to send them to probably attack Madrid just land them and go after them but I do want an army here ready because the uh, new Spaniards are, are causing problems oh yes you are also not new Spaniards the Barbary States but we are also at war with the Ottomans which is less of a concern for now um, let's hit N10 because we're going to get 10 grand in
So the French may cause us some problems when we end up attacking Madrid because we do have the slight problem of the fact that we'll then have a land border with the French. So that's not ideal. It's certainly less ideal than the remainder of our other operations we have. Yep, two stacks of new Spanish troops certainly isn't ideal. I doubt it's probably possible to make peace. I think in the grand scheme I'd probably give them peace for one of the islands that I've captured. Not, don't think Jamaica. Thinking more, um, hey, the Leeward Islands. That's what I'm more thinking about. Diplomacy. Okay, New Spain, New Spain, New Spain, New Spain. Peace, and I'll offer... the leeward islands yeah it's fair enough it's not surprising they weren't they were unhappy with that but i think we'll probably smash them in a battle although i'd probably like a bit more line infantry green militia in cuba let's build the craft workshop and then let's hop back to europe so we've got Naples, for, but it's completely undefended. So we have to build... Hmm. So Tunis is unhappy. It's not a good long-term solution for our purposes. You're a poor iron workshop. Could get better roads. But Naples is already our most valuable region, so I probably would say... May as well pick up this. Could upgrade the farm, but I think what I would rather do is take this army, march over to Anaba. Embark my army. Sail to Cartagena. Disembark. Oops, don't re-embark. No, I don't want to march around the long way. Let's take one of my ships back to occupy the port. Yeah, they've got a decent army, but I've got a bunch of good bunch of troops. I mean they've got some better troops. But when I say I've got a lot of troops, I mean I've got a lot of troops. New Andalusia has a port. Hey, Caracas. Let's put a fourth rate in Cuba to get ready to expand my navy here. Let's upgrade you to a trade port. Because you do have coffee to export, and coffee is fairly valuable. Let's take Fabrizio Minicello, see if we can attack you. We cannot, sadly. Trade gain, local contacts. It improves our subterfuge missions. We have an agent in London not being used. Let's move him to Oxford. Good. Okay. I mean, research and tech, I think, is good. I also need to get a classical university, and I don't... Well, I suppose I could upgrade the one in London. Next turn. Next turn, we'll upgrade the church in London. Yep, feel free to boot out my navy. I don't think I will attack Spain. I think I will just hold it. Hold it and get ready to spam out a whole bunch of troops. What's it hold it? I mean, attack, but not try and actually assault the walls. If they want to sally, that's fine.
Mm -hmm. The worry, I'd like to think the French are feeling very uncomfortable with the Prussians on their doorstep. Considering they have uh, quite a large empire now. They've pushed right into Russia. Okay, at Reed University, go back to here. Pick up two more units of infantry, just to add a bit more of a garrison. Repair this navy for 500 gold. Can I upgrade any more of my buildings here? I can. I can probably upgrade... I can either upgrade a port or a weaver's cottage. A weaver's cottage would give me an uplift of extra gold and increase happiness. Unhappiness, sorry. Um, let's do upgrade the port. To get the plus extra plus three per turn to town wealth. Just because I've got a lot of good regions. Don't want the extra extra military unit yet. I mean, oh. This priest is blocking my way. Although I don't really care about their priests. No, don't try and kill him. Just wait. When I attack, I'm going to put my priest on the wall to see if I can uh, do the same trick. Good, we've got some more ships being built. Can I raid? That's when Empire gets five grand out of that trade. Out of that trade. Uh, trade. Trade route. Don't know why I had to think for the right name there. Okay, let's hit this army because they are unsupported. So let's take them out. Because if we could march on and take Bogota, then try and make peace. So I've, I have said before, you do need to do um, a good amount of damage to actually force a country to accept peace terms. Otherwise, they will just resolutely say no and continue being at war. You have to give them an incentive. Okay, my incentive is going to be... Big old... Strong artillery position. A massive infantry line. Because we're it's a very unbalanced army, really. Advance up, surround and destroy. So move my cavalry up to intercept their regiment of horse. Because my cavalry will win that fight. We got their regiment of this regiment of horse. Let's run these regiments into position. Because they are. losing apparently African native infantry move up to support bring these infantry to bear on the flank they've hit our infantry on the hop but they've also hit another African native unit so let's run our cavalry around and then into the rear you men Engage. Damn sound bugs. So our fly by rank is started. Let's see how many men we can kill. There. Set the general after the infantry, after their cavalry, sorry, run my men around. Start to pick actual targets for the guns rather than just the 
artillery that they would like to shoot at. Come on, my native infantry, engage. There we go. I'll make the 21st route, then this entire flank has folded. Fold the corners in to make sure they don't hurt my infantry, my cavalry too much. Colonial pikemen, run! Get the hell out of there! Where's my other cavalry? He's back here. The 28th is just getting absolutely pounded. Just run. You can outpace the pikemen. Although maybe charge into them now they're routing. Well now they're unhappy. March up and secure the positions up to the artillery dugout. Focus all my artillery fire on this flank here, I suppose. But yeah, they've been destroyed. Let's tumble these infantry into the uh, artillery positions. Keep pushing the line forward. Okay, is that my cavalry? Yeah. Okay, run around their defences. Marines are still engaging their gunners, but I get the distinct impression that soon okay, you hit that colonial line infantry unit before it forms up. Oh, the native Bowman Auxiliary have come back. I say come back, I don't think they ever went away. All my guns to fire at the general. Let's get my cavalry to avoid the combat here, and then just get them to chase after someone else. Hold my artillery fire because our range to hit that last line infantry unit. Swarm the general's bodyguard. Kill him. See if the general's in there somewhere that I can kill. Nope, doesn't look like it. Still, good stuff. I'm um, going to continue just because they've not got many men left and I'm unsure about the efficacy of just letting just 
just letting just um relying on the shattered mechanic if it is even a mechanic it's quite odd really because at first i thought it was i was sure it was a thing because i witnessed it but i don't know now i'm less sure the idea that a shattered unit is destroyed on the campaign map because i'm sure i have shattered other units and they've still just survived on the campaign map but still a good victory against the spanish forces good let's give them a real kicking we can rebuild we can repair our coffee plantation and we can march one of these units into the port and one of these units towards the front line okay that looks good to me attempt to try and make peace with the french they captured some of our territory in nassau it's tempting do i give them the leeward islands just to make them go away even just temporarily it might be a good idea to be honest i just pasted the swedes in a, the, Sw the swedes the swiss in a not even the swiss the spanish in a battle nope 10 grand next turn. Have we got any good ministers? Anyone better than 4 star basic? 4 star basic, plus 1 justice, plus 1 treasury. Just one, two, three. No. That makes you 5 for justice. Although this guy might not be as good justice, but... Plus 2 repression across theatre. That helps cancel out the minus 2 happiness lower classes. Eh, he's not terrible. Okay, let's hit in turn. I'm happy to let the pirates exist because they don't seem to be bothering me very much, but they are causing other powers quite a problem. They seem uh, pretty happy to blockade the British or the French at uh, Nassau, which means that army that they've got there is less mobile because it means they have to embark on this on the land they can't land in they can't embark in a port which means they lose more of their movement bonuses when they eventually do land and also it means the french have to have a bigger fleet to move into the area to try and pick up their army so i mean there's probably some gaps in coverage where they could probably sneak in but i'm not so bothered about that <laughs> The new Spanish didn't attack me. They just ran up to my camp and then just stopped. More power to them, I guess. You keep sending more ships up to Nassau. Ah, this is the army we've just... The army we just slaughtered has moved back into position. Cuba's got a craft workshop. Okay, we need to get more stuff out of Cuba. What's your bottleneck? You're not exporting all of your goods. So let's pick up the port first before we upgrade our exports. And let's also pick up roads. Let's get Cuba to export more of their goods. And let's pick up the, the uh, farm as well they're complaining about food shortages and famines which is obviously not a good thing i definitely did see we've got some troops in tunis and got a fourth rate in the caribbean could be a dry dock but there's no point pick up another fourth yeah let these guys replenish i could probably move them up ah they count as that as an interception let's take them out I suspected that they might intercept my army, um, but that's fine. Their army is decimated, so it's not exactly a a problem to re-engage them with our original army. So let's deploy right back. I 
And now let's run them over here. Oh no, they're actually... It's actually behind them that we're coming in. Because look, they actually don't have that many men. And they are running. To attempt to catch my men. But they're going to find themselves in a position where they have to move. Well, they have to move to uh, position themselves to intercept my main force over here. So let's slowly speed up time. hoping we get to I was hoping we get to shoot him off his horse but no matter slowly speed up time just because it's just the general that's alive no he's dead Watch out guys, do you see how many of them there are? Uh, measurement of horse, come back. Although... I will deploy my cavalry to fight. We do outnumber them so it shouldn't be a problem. And I'm going to triple speed this because we should win that cavalry fight. All my guns are in position, so just unlimber those. Yeah, they know what's coming. Everyone except my cavalry, and then just make everyone run into a position. Just let everyone run, because right now this isn't going to be a, a problem fight. I mean, everyone it might be a bit of a massacre of my men as they run into position, but you know what? We are just. We're not going to make the same mistake. Let's make sure that as few of them as possible actually get to uh, make it to cause problems. Yeah, we're going to continue. Let's make sure that they can't come back and attempt to interdict my armies in the way that they did. The devils. Just keep right-clicking. It seems to reset the logic and they're much more effective at killing infantry. They're probably going to rout. Yeah, they will. The 25th Colonial Regiment of Foot is no more. 
well, it's escaped, so it will be more. But we have pushed back that annoying little stack. Generale, non possiamo. And you guys push up and regroup. Don't attack them directly. Um, you guys pick up a unit of. See, the militia. Oh no, the native muskmen are actually cheaper to occupy the port and free up this um, infantry unit. I think that's everything we can pick up, and then let's go over to here. Put Madrid under siege. Just put him under siege. Um, you guys just go here and block and block. Or you might actually go here and block any armies coming from the south. Um, and then just sit back in Cartagena again. Okay, one more turn till we get the next level industrial tech. Okie dokie. Screw militia unit to go occupy the fishing port, so I don't always have to have a ship sat there. We can also recruit or rebuild this light cavalry unit. Come on, let's get rid of that last religious unrest. Bullets hit in turn. Oof! Yeah, the French are coming. Ooh, I could intercept and destroy the garrison in an easy battle. Easier battle. Well, much easier battle. I'm definitely going to do this. But, looking at the timer, it's time for the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for hopefully a fairly quick battle um, trying to take Madrid. Because now I know that French army's on the way, I'm going to want to take, um, take Lisbon quickly and also spawn more troops to act as a garrison while I can go out and take the rest of the, the Iberian Peninsula. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.